Welcome back, everybody. Folks, my first guest tonight is an Emmy award-winning actor, most famously known as Philliam from Philliam H. Muffman. Please welcome back to The Late Show, William H. Macy. Nice to have you back. Good to see you again. Good to be seen. I love what you do, man. You're, you always make me laugh. Thank oh, you. I love what you do. Thank you so much. Nothing I to just, it. Oh, nothing to it? Nothing to it. Oh, wow, you're just faking it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? That's what actors do. They fake it. Well, it's about being truthful, and once you learn to fake that, man, you can have a career <laughs> that's... Well, as I sort of uh, intimated in the introduction there with Phil M. H. Uh, Macy, you're uh, Phil M. H. Muffman. You are half of America's favorite uh, celebrity couple. <laughs> you and your lovely wife, Felicity Huffman, right yes. here. Here you are. <laughs> here you are presenting at the, at the Golden Globes this year. Yes. Was that, is that as fun as it, it sounds to be able to go out and do that? Because award shows can be kind of a drag sometime. Yeah. But if you get to do it with your loved one, that must be well, nice. Especially when they're wearing that dress. I know. <laughs> Come on. But we had fun at the Globes, and my daughter, Sophia, went with us, which made it really special. Well, how and old is she? She is 18, and That's she's nice. in the biz. I'm here because she just auditioned for NYU. She's doing the college tour. Oh, she's, she's interested, interested in studying yep. uh, performance. Wow. Yep, she's in the tribe, and I've seen her. She's good. Wow. That's great. I enjoy taking my children to award shows because they, they see it in, with fresh eyes. Yeah. Like, I took my 11-year-old to see to the Emmys, my son John, and he goes, you didn't tell me it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, I didn't realize it was. <laughs> well, that could be nerve-wracking for her. Is, uh, do you audition for NYU? Is there an audition process there, or is it an Ooh, interview a process? a lot of them, yeah, so have do auditions. You, do, do you give her advice? Because you and your wife are, are brilliant actors. Do you say, like, this is how you should do the performance or anything like that? We do. Um, on the way to NYU, she turned to us and she said, no more advice, no more notes, I'm done. Wow. That's your cue to back off. <laughs> have you done that to a director? Have you done that to a director before? Yeah, I got I this one. Think, I think I've said something to like that before. <laughs> yes. I got an idea. What if I act it? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't now, work a lot, but... Now, uh, you still, uh, we've talked about your woodworking before. You still doing the woodworking? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Mm, you help build or rebuild or recreate your wife's house in Colorado, right? She grew up in Colorado, um, in this wonderful home, and through a lucky chain of events, we bought the house. It was a mess, uh, so we rebuilt it, but we built the same house again. And, um, I just love it. We and were there for Christmas. So are you, are you guys, uh, are you, are, like, you're in Colorado, are you skiers? Like, you, mm -hmm. do you love to spend a lot of time there? Do you, do, do you kids ski? ski and everything like they, that? They, they ski, yes. I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. One time a couple of years ago, I was feeling, I think the word is cocky, and I said, I'm taking the girls skiing, just the three of us. One was eight and one of them was ten, and Felicity did her best to support me and talk me out of it. She didn't want to come. I did it anyway. It was a disaster. <laughs> In what way was it a disaster? Because they didn't. By know my watch, ski? it took four hours and twenty-six minutes to get out of the house the first day, <laughs> to get to the mountain. It took so long. Did they you put them in the outfits first? I, they kept. They were. It was like shoveling cats. It was <laughs> awful. I completely lost it. By the time we were in the car, they said, I'm hungry, and we had to stop for lunch. <laughs> and then we get home, and I was so angry. It was the worst day of skiing, and Sophia suddenly starts screaming, and I'm thinking, what now? And thank God, Georgia, the young one, sprang into action and opened the door of the car, which Sophia just slammed on her thumb, and it was oh. really bad. Oh, my God. And I, well, I gave her a Vicodin. You gave, 
You gave a, your 10-year-old daughter a Vicodin. Yes. How'd, that, how'd that go? Uh, Felicity said, you know, you shouldn't have done that. And I said, oh, God. And well, let me just say it got worse, but it ended up with some advice that I got that wasn't good, and it involved a stool softener in those cases. And uh, we were at the top of the mountain when I realized that I had perhaps been a little generous with the stool softener. And wait, wait. So after the Vicodin, she's no longer in pain, so you decide to go skiing. You know, it, yeah. And you say, "How do I get this out of her system?" And she says, "Stool softener," and it kicks in at the top of the lift. Yeah. That's. What you, what you said happened. How fast? It was bad. How fast could you ski to the bottom? She's a fast skier, man. When she gets... <laughs> she weren't, wasn't complaining about her boots anymore. She was complaining about her boots when we first started. I kept saying, it, they're supposed to hurt. I was so angry because my boots were killing me. But I said, they're supposed to hurt. Your boots hurt? Yeah. Did you think about boots. taking a Vicodin? <laughs> Just, needed to take something. A drop of a hat. I finally realized she yeah. had put the boots on the wrong feet. The left was on the right. No wonder. Oh my God. Poor thing. She had. I'm a bad. Was there father. a parent around to help with any of this? You really should have a parent with you if you're going to take your two girls out. It was a mistake. I've never just done to... it again. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now, um, they. they... <laughs> shameless returns. Let's get to. Let's get to. Speaking shameless. of bad fathers. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Speaking of. Bad parenting and too much drugs. Yeah. Shameless returns. Uh, is it this Sunday? Okay. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, they whatever. Didn't tell me I was supposed to. I just know make that. it. I, I don't know. Exactly. This Sunday at nine o'clock. Oh, good. Sunday I'll at nine o'clock. <laughs> uh, how how low how how low have you fallen in this show? What what's the? I just have a clip here that that brings you to a, a nadir of your character's behavior. I have no idea. Um, I know he falls. <laughs> oh, God. So that's the clip we have. So sad. Roll it. Here's the thing that material, as you call it, is subpar. It's from the 70s, it's on videotape for <laughs> sake. The women have pubic hair. I feel like I'm watching my parents have sex. It actually made me sad. So, needless to say, my cup is empty, as is my desire. Do you have anything else? Something from the early 90s? Some Nina Hartley, Rock Eldarian, perhaps? Sorry. What about crazy? You got any videos of crazy people having sex? It's good to know what you like. Good to know, good to know your niche. Now, perhaps I should have set that up by saying that you're sperm donating uh, for cash. That's actually not yes. donating. That's not sperm donation. No. That's sperm selling is what Katie, that is. Katie Seagal did a, a turn on there. It turns out Frank's liver transplant, he lost his liver a while ago. Uh, they, have to, they won't pay for it anymore, so he has to get a generic, and one of the side effects is loss of libido. And, uh, he has to get a generic liver? Yeah. <laughs> Generic liver drugs. Oh, okay. I thought maybe there was like livers or you could get like, you know, you know a works. president's choice brand organ. Works for dogs, cats, humans, sure. one sure. size We're all, fits all moving in that direction, I can tell. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a great turn. It turns out yeah. Frank is just crazy about sure. crazy women. And Man. Katie Seagal plays a nut job. It's a, it's a, it's a hopeful message. It is. That's our Christmas release. That's the... the mm -hmm. No, I'm not. Really. Well, uh, thanks for being here. Next time, it's maybe lovely. Uh, bring the Vicodin. You bet. <laughs> bring enough for everybody, yes. obviously. Raise your hand. Good to see you again. Season 9 of Shameless returns to Showtime this Sunday at 9 o'clock. William H. Macy, everybody. We'll be right back.